Hey guys, so I got a question from one of y'all about how I keep these guys safe during the winter outdoors because these guys live outdoors year round. And the question was like, how do I safely do that? Um, I cannot take credit for what these guys do. So they naturally just burrow in. Like, so all I do is I mend soil so that it's um, easier for them to dig into. And then right before winter, I'll kind of till the soil up so it's nice and soft, or I'll add more soil to their already enclosure so that they have plenty to dig into. Um, so most of the time, these guys, like I have, and they move this all around, but I have this piece of plywood. See that mound of, of soil right there? Uh, they just dig all into that. So this whole area of like darker soil is all stuff that I added over the winter, um, or I guess before the winter started, and they just dig into it. Which is good too, because like, you know, then they have nice soil when they get ready to lay their eggs. They're all getting ready for bed right now. What's up, buddy? Hi. I'm sorry, I don't have any food on me. He's probably gonna try and bite my finger. Let's see, maybe he'll just sniff it. What's up? So yeah, these guys, um, the Eastern Hermans especially, like out of the other Testudos, these guys are that I keep. The, um, these guys have popped up and down through the warm weather. Every time there's a warm day, they pop up. And then, you know, when it gets cooler out, they start digging back in. And then what we do, me and my son, we, um, all we do is just add more soil. Uh, like if one of these guys, like for instance, like these guys aren't covered right now. Like if there was a freeze coming tonight, we would take soil and just cover the animal with the soil. Like all the way to the top, covering the entire shell. Um, so only about to there, you know, to the top of the shell. And then that's it, they're fine. I mean, I don't. we don't pack the soil down or anything like that so that they can't breathe and they, they're they still fine. They, they can still, you know, breathe. They, I mean, obviously they're still alive, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're so easy. And, and I'm speaking from North Texas weather specifically. I Other climates, I would imagine they do in uh, the, the US in general, they, they do really, really well. I think in most of our climates um, I don't know about Florida. I don't know about the higher humidity for Testudo. I've not investigated that, but I'll show y'all my, let you guys watch. Got this guy coming back over here. So here's one of the bags. <laughs> this is the brand we use. Um, I've used this for the past few years. It says organic compost. There's no poo or anything like that in it. It's just literally just, there we go. That explains it, right? It's just broken up leaves and stuff. But yeah, that's all I do. I literally just make sure that they're covered, that they're safe and um, protected from, I mean, I, Two years ago, we had that Texas blizzard hit here and like literally, you know, snow that was like several inches deep and they all did fine. I mean, I was worried, absolutely, because I never, we don't really get that sort of weather here, but they all did great. They're all fine. Um, I can't contest that it helps with um, fertility. There was always the, the rumor that the cold, like a good, high, you know, hibernation, Brumation will help encourage fertility. 
Um, I, with my group, I can't say that that's the case because I've, after the blizzard, I didn't necessarily have a really good, um, higher, any higher of a hatch rate than I normally do. So, but yeah, I hope this helps you guys. Like if you're, I know that we're winners, you know, we're coming into spring, winter's pretty much coming to an end, but, um, for anybody that's planning in the future or if right now it is winter to you um hopefully this is helpful and you guys can enjoy your babies and feel a little bit more secure that they'll be safe um i i these guys are so rock solid and they do they're real they really know how to take care of themselves so you know let, let them trust their instincts they're pretty smart and when in doubt just cover them in soil and they'll be fine. But yeah. I hope that helps. Y'all have a great one.